Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Hope you're doing well. I've got a, uh, a West Coast IPA to review for you today. Uh, really looking forward to this. This is one from uh, Tempest Brewing in Scotland. And this is their Brave New World. It's a West Coast IPA coming in at a big 7% ABV. Uh, this particular can came in my latest Beer 52 box. Scotland was the theme. Um, some fantastic breweries up in Scotland. Um, I've had beer from these guys before. Have they got an address? I'm not sure whereabouts in Scotland Tempest are. Uh, Tempest Brewing Company, Tweed Bank, Scottish Borders. Tweed Bank? Not familiar with that. But here's the, uh, the artwork on the can. Brave New World, West Coast IPA. Simple. Simple, but effective. I love a West Coast IPA. I've not had one for a what feels like ages. Um, so yeah, looking forward to this, and 7% as well is a good ABV for a Westie. Let's get this ABV, is it ABV? Let's get this IPA, there's too many letters. Let's get this uh, IPA out of his can, into the grass, see if it's any good. There you go, nice big head on it. See how long that hangs around for. I'll leave that here so we can see it. Tempest Brewing. Um, I thought I saw a bit of sediment floating about in there, but I think that's just my eyes being tricked on me. Um, hazy. Dark amber looking IPA. It certainly looks like a West Coast IPA. Doesn't look like a juicy New England, does it? That is what I'm expecting for a West Coast IPA to look. Uh, decent carbonation, which I'm not sure you can see. I think you're just getting reflections, really. But uh, in the light, which is shining on me, I can see plenty of slow-moving carbonation running out the middle of the glass. It's holding on to a finger of white, slightly foamy-looking head, which is hanging around. And there's also a little bit of lacing on the glass, which is nice. So let's get me snouting, see what the aroma's telling us. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice aroma. Oh, yummy. Pineapple, grapefruit. Orange, it's got like a, like a, a Fanta or Tango kind of sort of carbonated orange juice. Aroma to it. Yeah, man, there's a lovely aroma coming from the hop, so that is big. Apologies for that, there was a bit of a technical difficulties there. My camera just suddenly decided to stop recording midway for a review. Thank you for that, brilliant stuff when it happens. Um, I was discussing the aroma, um, it's lovely. I was just saying it's pineapple, orange, grapefruit. And as I was whizzing it around, there's a touch of a sort of slightly savoury yeastiness coming through, like a sort of a marmite type aroma, but it's not overpowering. It mixes in with the kind of the piney uh, and slightly tropical fruit notes. It smells fantastic. It, it smells like a West Coast IPA. It smells like it's going to be full of flavour. Um, I'm excited about this. This could be one of the best beers I've had from a Beer 52 box in a while going on the aroma. I'm hoping the flavour backs it up. Tempest, don't let me down. Here we go. Cheers. Nice, nice, juicy, piney, bitter. Light body, not thin, but light, but the hoppiness, a piney bitterness at the back end. <laughs> it really coats the palate and it really lingers. Um, this is decent. This is decent quality. I just wish I had a 440 mil. Um, I would love a bigger one. <laughs> but there we go. Um, but yeah, lovely colour to it. It looks like a West Coast IPA. Smells like a West Coast IPA. And the flavour is definitely backing it up. Oh, so you're getting that pineapple, grapefruit, sort of mixture of sweetness and bitterness. 
citrus and tropical fruit blends really nicely. There is that touch of orange there. That yeasty sort of marmite aroma that I mentioned. Um, obviously, you don't get the marmite in the flavour, thankfully. But um, there is a savoury touch to it. Just as that pininess comes in and then the bitterness comes in. And it's really strong. It's got a really strong piney, hoppy bitterness at the back end of it that hangs around. I mean, it's been a good 30 seconds or so since the last took a swig. But that piney bitterness is really clinging to the palate. All around me, back of my gums and side of my tongue. Um, I love that. I love that. That's what you want a good West Coast to do. Yeah, that's good. That is good. Like I say, that piney bitterness at the back end is really pronounced and it gives it a lovely finish. It's all about the finish on this particular beer. But at the same time, it's not unbalanced. The, the mixture of sort of citrus, tropical fruit, sweetness up front is there. Um, and it's actually quite pronounced, but not as much as the finish. The finish is pure West Coast IPA. Um, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with this. It's a proper Westie, as far as I'm concerned. Unfiltered, unpasteurised, malted barley, oats. See, despite the fact it's got oats, oat malts in it, it's it's not overly thick. It's not too much of a body. I think they've got it just right. I think they've got it just right. The drinkability of this beer is, is very good and it's actually borderline dangerous for a 7%. Oh. I really like it. It's zesty, it's refreshing. There's like grassy notes to it. Lemon, pineapple, grapefruit, really big flavors up front. And then here comes that pininess, that proper gum stripping pininess and bitterness. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really liking that. That's cracking. Um, it's just nice to get a decent beer from a beer 52 box. <laughs> it's not very often I get a beer from these boxes lately. It puts a smile on my face like this one has. But I was really hoping for good things from this. And um, yeah, it's delivered. Tempest Brewing. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm going to neck it. That is a smashable West Coast IPA. And at 7% ABV, you get into a bit of trouble drinking a few of those. Lovely beer. Lovely beer. Really good. It's not the most amazing West Coast IPA I've ever had in the world, don't get me wrong. But if Tempest are capable of doing that and whacking that in a beer 52 box, I could imagine a West Coast on their core range maybe, or one that they sell on their website, might be um, quite special. So Tempest Brewing from Scotland with their brave new world. West Coast IPA, 7% ABV. If you're lucky enough to get that in your latest B52 uh, box, um, let me know in the comments below what you thought of that because I think that's an absolute worldie. Great beer. Um, I like that enough to give it a 9 out of 10. It was exactly what I wanted it to be. Um, yeah. Mm. 9 out of 10 for me. Tempest, brave new world, West Coast IPA. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Give it a thumbs up if you have. I do appreciate it. Until my next one, you take care.